Hello there, it's time for my next DIY project. DIY means just do it yourself. So what I'm doing myself is something to do with safety pins because I use pampas these days. No need for cloth nappies anymore. I'm all grown up. So let's make some earrings. So I'm going to need safety pins, some earring thingies, an old beaded thing, scissors, nail polish, tweezers and my teeth so the first thing i'm doing of course underneath a serviette to avoid coloring my tablecloth is i'm unsafety pinning safety pins i don't want them to look like safety pins and people are like oh what are those so you want them to be confused are those safety pins and then i realized my nails are crappy so bam magic painted my nails and painted the safety pins so now i get my little old waist beads the ones that broke and snapped when I bent, when I bent with my bikini. Then I'm going to use these small safety pins. I'm going to unloop that end. Boom. And there you have it. I'm going to use that for the top of the earring. So now I'm going to get the beads out. And there it goes. It's a bit painful to destroy this waist bead thingy, but I need the beads. So yeah, has to be done. If you realize, these beads are a bit huge, they're way bigger than the others, they're the grandmas of the small beads. So these are what we are going to put on the this creative pins. Now they're creative pins, they're no longer safety pins because they're colored. So now I make a little nice design, yeah, a little creativity and stuff. Woohoo! There you have it! Nice design, right? So now I'm going to put the beads on one side because the factory has locked in the other side of the safety pin. So we're just gonna go with it, you know, one-sided creative pins. Sorry, I keep calling them safety pins and they're actually my creative pins. So yeah, that's finished. Now we're going to do the second creative pin. Beads in, beads in. Make sure you're alternating the colors so that it actually looks interesting and colorful and beautiful. I love colors, so this is so much fun to do. Uh, yeah, so and I'm going to make sure that I'm locking this open side of the creative pin because you don't want to be dropping beads when you're walking on the streets and then people start skating on them and they start falling and then you cause a disaster. So I'll lock them in once I'm finished with all this. So bead in, bead in and that's done. Now we're going to bring the loopless safety pin in. I'm going to put it like that but I need to put small little beads in first so once those are in until halfway I'm gonna put that pin through that little hole in there and no I'm not going to make a very tempting metaphor of the little hole I'll just let your mind do that for yourself that's in so now I continue putting the beads on the other side so this is the one that's going to hold the earring things, the main things that make something an earring. I don't know what to call them. So that's locked in. I lock it in with a tweezer so that your beads are not falling off, you're not shitting beads on the streets. And then here, as I said, the earring things. You need a loop first and then you put the hook that's going to go into your ear hook. I'll get names for these things. So that's finished, that's done, woohoo! I do the same for the other earring and there you have it. Say hello to my little friends. What do you think? See you soon, ciao!